the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles? I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. Hey, Mark. Wardo. You and Erica split up. How did you know that? It's on your blog. Yeah. Are you alright? I need you. I'm here for you. No, I need the algorithm used to rank chess players. Are you okay? We're ranking girls. You mean other students? Yeah. Do you think this is such a good idea? I need the algorithm. Mark. I need the algorithm. Give each girl a base rating of 1400 at any given time. Girl A has a rating RA and girl B has a rating RB. When any two girls are matched up, there's an expectation of which will win based on their current rating, right? Yeah. And those expectations are expressed this way. Let's write it. I can't wait to stand over your shoulder and watch you write as a chef. You guys were the inventors of Facebook? You invented Facebook. This idea is potentially worth millions of dollars. Millions? You stole our website. They're saying we stole the Facebook. I know what it said. So did we? This is a good guy. We don't know that he's not a good guy. We know he stole our idea. We know he lied to our faces for a month and a half. No, he never lied to our faces. Okay, he never saw our faces. Fine. He lied to our email accounts and he gave himself a 42-day head start because he knows what apparently you don't, which is that getting there first is everything. I'm a competitive racer, Div. I don't think you need to school me on the importance of getting there first. Thank you. All right. That was your father's lawyer. This is in-house counsel. He's going to look at all this and if he thinks it's appropriate, he'll send a cease and desist letter. What's that going to do? What, do you want to hire an IP lawyer and sue him? things I mean um, and it's a chance when you go out you post pictures on Facebook of the night and people get to see what you've been up to and stuff. Probably all, all the photos that people put on you can have a nice scan through give them a like and that. Well I used to like them at first. I used to find on them quite a lot when I was bored, but now they're just really annoying. Um, I think they're quite annoying when you get um, all these things saying, oh, if you come and play on this you'll get so many points and things like that from your friends. And it's, it's if you don't want to use it, they shouldn't really be sending them all, th all the time to you. And it's just like, very annoying. Stan, you don't get how cool Facebook has become. You can message your friends, play Yahtzee with your friends, even start your own virtual farm and have your friends visit it! Mostly to check out what my friends are up to, to see, just to contact them to see if they want to come out. The only reason I use it really is just because I've used it all my life. First I started uh, to catch up with mates. I see what my mates are doing outside school and I'll just use it probably every day really. 
I use Facebook because um, it's just a chance to catch up with everyone who used to go to school with and everyone who used to work with, just have a dozy sometimes. Um, I do use Facebook. Um, I mainly use it because my mum has a cake business and I'm in a band, so it's a good way of keeping up to date. stuff really, just how you can uh, interact with what people are doing and just how you can like, get an insight into everyone's life without actually asking them kind of thing. Well, it's good, it's another way of talking to get in touch with people instead of having to ring them up or go around their house or text them. Yeah. Keeping up with people from school and stuff like that and contacting them and that. Probably the fact that it's so easy for someone to like go on your page, take your information and then twist it and use it for whatever they want to use it for. The way our generation is, we can kind of include myself, we can't just kind of um, document everything a bit too much. People put on the status like, oh, going to the zoo now, I'm saying, I give a if you go in the zoo and things like that. Uh, how people can see everything into my life, like it's alright looking into everyone else's, but once people start looking all into mine, that's how much of a weirdo I am. <laughs>